one of the most famous scenes in TV history when Lucy and Ethel tried working at a candy factory on I Love Lucy. Well, we thought this would be fun in honor of Valentine's Day. We decided to visit a famous candy factory of our own. The Twin Cities oldest chocolatier, Abdullah Candies, is hard at work. And I had a chance to kind of get behind the scenes, check out their production facility in Apple Valley. Look at that. Oh. I love chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate right for Valentine's Day. Perhaps you're going to be giving some chocolates or receiving chocolates. What better way to do that? And then also to buy local is to buy from Abdallah, which has been a company that's been around for generations. Steve, you have been, your whole family knows this business. What has it been like the last couple of years? It's been tough. It's been full of surprises. Uh, each day you come into work, you don't know what you're going to have and what you're not going to have. But for the most part, we eventually get it. It just takes a little bit longer. Let's, uh, if you would, just give us a quick little tour here before sure. we go behind the scenes and tell us what you're offering up for Valentine's Day. Sure, we have all different sizes of Valentine's. Um, we have gift, gift boxes, heart-shaped boxes for your sweetie or the person you love, as, long, as well as um, candies for everyone, somebody at work, a friend, a caregiver, somebody that's helped you out, somebody that you want to say thanks, I appreciate you. Let's see these. There's a ticket for me. I love the haystacks. I love anything coconut. And then, oh, of course, butter toffee. Who doesn't? Oh, I'll have a couple of those. And, um, oh, there's the molasses chips. And hey, Alex, I, if you want to go into the factory, I'll show you how we make it. Really? All right, let's go. And this is a, a business that you know a lot about. You are fourth generation here at the Abdella Company, Steve. Explain um, how this whole business began and you know just how massive, how many chocolates you put out a day. Oh wow, well, uh, how it began, my great grandfather. Um, I'm fourth generation, uh, my wife and I run the company together. Uh, my great grandfather was from Lebanon and uh, he came to the United States to learn how to make candy here. And um, from there, each generation has kind of had our impact on the company. How many kinds of chocolate have you perfected now? Oh, well, we make about 200 different kinds of chocolates, but we're always trying new ones. And that's really the fun part of it, is the, the trial and the error of making new chocolates. So, Steve, this is a really old machine. This is. It's a ball beater. It's a cream mixer. Uh, what we have is sugar and water in here. We don't have cream in here, um, but it makes a cream center. So, a cream center, most, one of the most traditional uh, pieces in assorted Look chocolates. Look at that. This is an orange cream. Um, we've added marshmallow frappe, which we've made earlier, uh, natural orange uh, flavors, and he'll mix this until it gets to a consistency where we can extrude it out onto a belt and get covered in chocolate. All right, we can already smell the caramel. It smells delicious. What's happening here? We're funneling caramel on top of some roasted, lightly salted cashews, and we're making alligators. In 1909, Hennepin and Lake, uptown area, my great-grandfather who just came here from Lebanon, thought it was just this buzzing metropolis and was eager, um, I guess, to start his American dream. And he started learning how to make candy right here in Minneapolis for the customers of our tastes in this area. This line right here, um, you, how long does it take to train on this line to actually get the chocolates in the right spaces in the hearts? This is a great line. My, my grandfather made this packing belt, he invented the packing belt, and the reason he did it this way is because you could sit and have the candy go by rather than have to walk and go buy stationary candy. So that means you can very easily learn how to pack the candy. In fact, you can learn how to pack the candy in just minutes. Do you want to give it a try? Okay. And you're Maria? Yes. Okay, what do I do? Suck your journey tray. So, okay, so start from one, this is the one, the two, the three, the four, and the five. Oops, kind of shoving those in there. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Actually, mine didn't turn out that good. Uh, but they did slow it down for me, thank goodness. They slowed down the conveyor belt? They did, or the, yeah. because usually it's going faster, but wow, it smells so Still, it looked so like you there. had to still, I mean. Yeah. What was interesting, too, is a lot of the machines were built generations ago or, you know, decades ago, for sure, and have been working ever since. I mean, every once in a while something has to be tuned up, but 
a lot of those big vats mm -hmm. and you know the the conveyor belts those were built by some of the earlier um, Abdullah family members so that's it's just it's something in you heard him talk about um, COVID was a little difficult mm -hmm. supply chain issues but they managed to come out still with some fantastic product of which Chip thanks for bringing back the chocolate he was shamed so much mm -hmm. because well I showed up to work and I just got all sorts of business from everybody like where's the chocolate Alex here it is thanks Chip because if you wouldn't have well you can't go to a chocolate factory and then come back empty-handed that's no. just mean Right. That's cool. I, I love that they still have some of the original. I mean, you know, at yeah. least some of the older. Th if it works. Mm -hmm. Right. Why? If, it, if it ain't broke, don't right. fix it. And they're doing something right. That's for sure.